I am here today to share something very personal about me. And I have a secret. Sometimes I feel high and low at the same time. My thoughts run wild and all over the place and it's really hard for me to concentrate on something as everything seems to jumble in at the very same time. Everything seems to fast forward and slow down at the same time. But you know, people I dearly love and trust told me I am not good enough. They said, you're just not good enough. I have been working my whole life trying to prove that I am good enough. Good enough to keep, good enough to love, good enough to be treasure. But I keep hearing those words repeating in my head. I went to bed and wake up hearing those words every day. It's like it's on a repeat tape and I can't stop it. No matter what I do, where I go, who I am with, what I've done and achieved, I keep hearing those words whisper in my ear, constantly remind me that I am not good enough and I will never be good enough. Objectively and intellectually, I know I am more than those words. I know that I have well used and I am a priceless contributor to many others. But in bouts of depression, those intellectual knowledge is a cold consolation to the feeling that I don't measure up and I will never be able to. I often feel empty, numbed, as if any ability to feel positive emotion at all has been lost. I feel like I am drifting in darkness with shame, grief, and vulnerability. I so often ask myself, why am I so depressed? Why can't I be just normal? Why can't I be happy? Is it because of me? Is it because of my personality? Is it because I am stubborn and not good? I ask myself those questions countless of times. I've been living with depression for the past six years and the diagnosis didn't come easily. At first, I denied it so hard. Then years after, I accepted it and now I am living with it. Depression is not just a feeling of sad or disappointment when something has not gone your way. It is a dreadful feeling that drags you down emotionally and physically. It involves low moods and loss of pleasures in usual activity. It leads to a reinforcing cycle of self-critique, self-sabotage, self-hatred, pessimism at life, and worse, it could lead to suicidal. Depression affects everyone around you and it interferes with your everyday activities. It makes you feel like you're floating in fogs of darkness. It is a cage that you feel like you will never be able to escape from. I have not found a magic cure to depression. But what has helped me so far has been the love, the support from my dear, dear sisters who always believe that I am the son. From my dear friends who always encourage me to open up and ask for help, to open up and talk about this dark secret. I've learned that Talking about my experience has helped diminish the destructive hold of depression on my life. I've learned that there are many people with, this, with similar issues as me and there are likely to be snippets of my story that are familiar to many other people. I've learned that I am not alone and I've learned that sometimes some wounds of other people can help healing the wounds of yours. Learning from people talking about their experience, I have come to terms with my issue and I hope that by sharing my secret today, I too can help some other people dealing with the same issues as me. Depression is hard, depression is real and 
you actually cannot get rid of it. It lay low at times, and it hits you hard in the face at other times. And there's no one, trust me, there's no one at all who can help you, but you yourself. So stand up, take the pain, fight it, and ignite it. Embrace depression and learn from it. Love people around you, listen to their sadness, and share your secret with them. Thank you.